hello everyone in this video we will see how to create facebook application using the new feature of asp.net mvc4 and your asp.net mvc4 has given a new template for facebook application so i'll just go for file new project mvc4 and i'll name it as my fb app okay now you can see that from the list of templates i have a template called as facebook application if you do not find this template in your application you can simply go to this url there is aspnet v next slash overview and you can update your visual studio to the latest release that is visual studio 2012.2 and in this you will find extra feature that is new templates for facebook application so once you install this, you should be in a position to find this template. So I'll select this template. I'll say, okay, we got the template. Now I'll select the project and I'll say F4, it should give me the properties and I'll change SSL enabled from false to true. And I'll copy this SSL URL. And I'll save this. I'll right click on the project. And I'll go for the properties. I'll click web. Paste the project URL and I'll say create virtual directory. So virtual directory created for me successfully and I'm going to save this. So these are the few steps that you need to perform as your Facebook apps works on secure socket layer and you need this URL to work with Facebook apps. And I'm going to rebuild this. And if I look into the views, home index is the view that it is going to generate in our Facebook app. So I'll put the things as it is the default things and I'll just try to add simple h1 tag saying that this is my first FB app. It is really cool. And I'm going to save this. I'll close. Now, once we are ready with these settings, we need to go to developers.facebook.com. And here I need to register as a developer. And I should have an app here. So I'll just click on login. And I'll log in with the ID that I have created that is facebook.mvc4 Say login Now it is going to verify the account as I'm going to use this for the first time. So I'll say continue And I'll just write down this text I'll say submit. Now it is going to verify through mobile number. I'll just enter the number. So here I get the text that is 695979. I'll say confirm. I'll just choose it, leave me. I'll say save settings. I'll say continue. I'll say register now. App, I'll say continue. I'm going to work with web. I will say continue. And I'll say done. Now I'm done with the registration and I'm going to create 
Facebook app. I'll say create new app. I'll name it as FB MVC, which is valid, and the namespace say FB MVC NS, which is also available. I'll say continue. I'll just say continue. Now I'm done with creating an app. Now I need to configure this. Here I have app ID, which is important and app secret key. That is also important that I'm going to use these things. Now app on Facebook here, I need to give canvas URL. That URL is nothing but the URL that we created here. So I'll just copy this. I'll paste it here. And I'll also try to paste it here. I'll use fluid and make sure that sandbox mode should be enabled as we are still in the testing. And display name and namespaces are again important that we'll use these all these things. I'll say save changes. Now I need to use app ID. I'll just copy this app ID and I'll go to the web config file of my project. And here in Facebook app ID, I'll just paste it and app secret key that is available here. I'll, I'm going to copy this and I'll paste it here. Then app namespace that is nothing but FB MVC NS. I need that which is this now I'll say save all and I'll save this and I'll simply execute this as we are using SSL it is asking for the secure socket layer that is SSL certification so anyway I'll say proceed So it is asking me that FBMVC would like to access my profile. I'll say, okay. And it is also asking me whether I can give access to email ID and my photos. I'll say, okay. So that's it. We are done with this. You can see this is my first app and it is really cool. This is what we added the text in our project. And we are done with our MVC app and it is really very simple. Now, if I want it to be accessible for all the users, I need to simply change the sandbox mode from enable to disable and say save changes. And here I'll say log out. Now I'll execute this. This time I have logged out from the Facebook. It is again going to ask me to log in using Facebook. So this time I'm going to use and I'll say login. It is asking me that whether I can give access to public profile, yes, and they can access my email and photos. Now you can see that we are on Facebook app that we have created and they are listing all my friends and they are listing all my photos and you can find that code here. They are listing friends and they're listing all the photos. So that's it. This is how we can develop our Facebook app and we are ready with our Facebook app and you can get started with this. You can explore the code and you can start creating your own apps.
that's it for this video thank you very much